My first guest today is a Mom's Choice Award winner when it comes to this for a book she wrote called Percolate, Let Your Best Self Filter Through. Elizabeth Hamilton is a Quad City native sharing messages of uh, courage, awakening, and navigating change all through this little book that has, a, I guess, a coffee theme throughout. Elizabeth. It does. Hi. It's, Thank you. Well, so 25 years. Welcome back to your hometown. <laughs> Thank you. Bless your heart. Thank You've you. been you know, a, a Pleasant Valley native. Yeah. Nice and you. now you're up in Maine with I your know. family. And, uh, and you're helping us navigate change I through know. this book. Tell us about the title, Percolate. Well, the title Percolate came to me when I was in, visiting my dad in a rehab center. He's a stroke survivor. And uh, I learned in that moment that change is an instant. We have to let our best selves filter through. Well, we were saying that, that we think there's some uh, generations maybe watching now who, who don't know the word percolate. And uh, we dug up on uh, YouTube that old uh, Maxwell House commercial <laughs> from the from the 60s, that, 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 yeah, that, that's what percolation is <laughs> in the old percolator, meaning it has to cook, it yeah. has to, has to brew. We have to learn patience. Look at the coffee. And, and if you make a noise luck. like that, it, it, it works out that like that <laughs> yeah. too. So, um, you know, I don't, do you love coffee? I do love coffee Although and my the, green tea too. The, the book is about coffee. No, 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 it's just about, metaphors. Yeah, tell me about the nine points. So you have nine points about, about percolating in your life. Yeah, uh, we all percolate all the time. And it's about coping and managing change. Change happens to us, for us, with us, all those things. And it's a nine point plan to help you be your best through that. And it's very easy, you see nine, nine points, and you see the size of the book. It's not super small, but it's not real thick either. And it's really a nice guide. For, for example, percolate point one is allowing for change to brew. Yeah. A lot, you know, it's the thing we're it's most hard. afraid of in life, change. It sure is, and, and there's a, an awareness that goes with that. So, um, yeah, allowing for things to happen, that's that point where you sort of pause, reflect, see what's happening, and go from there. I like that you started with that because you've got to start with change, and then when, yeah. allowing for it, they don't what you're going to do with it. Point two is choosing a bolder brew. What do you mean by about being bolder? Well, I love Betty White. That's one thing. So <laughs> she's, okay. she's in there. You'll see what would Betty White do. <laughs> but also, you know, just it just means sometimes you really need to get cur courageous mm -hmm. and go through it and charge through it. So it just depends on the moment and. Not all people are doing, you know, point one through nine, and I've changed. We go back and forth all the time. And every day. Every day, every moment, We're probably. always in process. We are. Did you mean this more for women, Elizabeth? You know, I have a 50-50 audience. I've got about two million people that follow me in social media. Two million? Two million people, and we have, yeah, it's crazy, isn't yeah, it? It's so much you. fun, and I have so many men that read this, too. So I don't know just yet. It's percolating. Well, it, yes, <laughs> yes, as we all are. And then the third, third point we want to make was that, um, you tell us to create our own best blend, to create. Yeah, you create your moments. You really do. You have a choice to choose gratitude and joy in your moments or go the other direction. And so we're always percolating all the time. And you go where you place your energy. Sometimes I think when, when I uh, interview people like you who've written books like this, I, uh, I think that the audience is thinking, well, is she doing, is she practicing what she preaches? Yes. <laughs> So how, it, how, really is, how has this worked in your own life? It has. I, you know, I'm a food allergy survivor. I've nearly died twice, once when I was pregnant with my uh, third son, Cameron. And so, yes, I was really mad and angry when that happened to me. And my life changed like that. Mm -hmm. And I've been percolating for a really long time writing this book. Is there a faith component in here, too, Liz? Very big, yeah, uh -huh. absolutely. In fact, that's my dad's favorite word. When he was rattling off the ABCs of life in that, in that stroke uh, facility, faith was one of those words. So well, I learned that from him. Uh, Never give up, either. That's worked for me, yeah. yeah. So um, w when we look at we, we look at the Facebook, is that just a picture of you? What is that? Yeah, that's a picture of me by oh. Karen Caxton Smith. Look that's my website. <laughs> Best, <laughs> BestEverYou.com. When people go there, what are they going to find there, Elizabeth? A radio show that's been there for about three years with about a couple million downloads now. Um, a, a magazine, a website, a community of great people, mm -hmm. the book, everything's there. Well, a few of your friends uh, if, that you grew up with have reached out to me I today to, to, le to, yeah, to let me know, oh, Elizabeth's and back. And your fans have reached out to me <laughs> saying, you're going to be on. So it's, it's, so it's so neat that you're back neat. here. Everyone's all excited about it. You have a book signing uh, for Percolate tomorrow, Barnes yeah. & Noble at the, at the mall at yeah. North Park. Yep, one And then, uh, then another one, a Books A Million. Yep, on 53rd Street from 4 to 6. 4 to 6. So all, excited. All uh, hometown. Yeah. And, and congratulations <laughs> on, on this lovely book. And it really, I think, 
you could change lives. I hope through, so. Through this. It's, yes. Yeah, my whole point is to touch a life. My, well, I say, you know, if our lives touch, I hope that we're both best authentic selves as a result. So That's the best. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Lots Elizabeth. of love to you. Yes, bless you.